Hello everybody, and welcome to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Uh, Wrath just released a little bit ago, so every, most everybody is running through that expansion, and I thought this was a good time to jump in because I've never played a shaman before, and I thought that I would try a uh, Drenai. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is Sherry, and uh, we are going to go ahead and see what this classic is all about. So without further ado, let's get started. One month ago, a terrible explosion tore open the skies above northern Kalimdor. At that moment, the great ship Exodar plummeted from the heavens and crashed upon the world of Azeroth. Having fled the ravaged world of Outland, the noble Dranai used the dimension traveling Exodar to reach safe haven. Inspired by tales of the heroic alliance that stood against the might of the Burning Legion, the Dranai have come to enlist aid in retaking their shattered homeland. Dedicated to preserving life and upholding the tenets of the Holy Light, the Dranai hope to gather a new coalition of warriors to battle the Burning Legion and put a halt to its horrific Burning Crusade. Armed only with courage and their unshakable faith in the light, the Dranai look forward to finding the Alliance and ushering them towards the destiny that awaits beyond the skies of Azeroth. Now, the fate of two worlds rests in your hands. Well, here we are. I like that introduction. That gives a little bit of background um, for her predicament here. I need a moment to make sure that everything is set up properly for us. So I want to go into the um, interface and put auto lead on for sure. And I also want to add just a couple more of these bars. Uh, I want the bottom left and I want the right one because I like to place my keys in certain areas. Now we get 15 slot bag to start with, which is appreciated. I'm gonna put my hearthstone over there. And uh, what else we got here? We've got an attack, we've got lightning bolt, 30 yard range, well that is our puller. We've got a heal to start with, which is fantastic. And now this is race specific, and it is my heal, or I can heal someone else. So uh, that is going to come in handy. Perhaps it's not a huge heal, but uh, I think it'll, it's better than nothing. Now I just want to say before we actually get started, I'm a very casual player. I do not rush. I enjoy reading the quest lines. And uh, I have a light roleplay spin on things. Uh, I sometimes will, you know, say things and, and speak to NPCs and whatnot that is not actually in the text. So uh, just be aware of that. Uh, it's just the way that I enjoy playing. So we need to explore this beautiful world here. This is all new. The class is new. And so bear with me. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Guess I need to speak to Megalon. Arcanon Polos. Never mind my injuries, sister. It's a miracle that any of us are alive. It didn't look like you'd pull through. You've been in suspension for weeks. Something happened, and the Exodar crashed. Many have died. But I'm relieved that you're alive. With you leading our efforts, I'm sure we'll get to safety soon. Proentus asked me to send you to him when you awoke. He's waiting for you at the bottom of the hill. Just follow the path southwest. Be right. well. Talk to him. I see him. This is a beautiful place, actually, except for the broken chip. <laughs> we 
Now, a shaman can be a healer uh, or DPS. Uh, and I am going to be a DPS shaman. I'm not ready for healing, not familiar enough with classics, so we're just going to have to go with DPS. Hello. I was uh, told that you wanted to speak with me, sir. Warm wishes to you. Cherry, my eternal soul. It is good to see you. I don't know why the Exodar crashed. Only those of us that were in this part of the ship remain. There's not much time if we're to save everyone we can. Our immediate concern is the depleted state of our healing crystals. We must replenish them quickly. Fortunately, the only way to do this at this point is to extract the blood from the local veil moths. Their blood will make for a suitable substitute. The moths can be found in many places around the veil, vale, but they're mostly concentrated to the northwest. Okay. Acquire eight vials of moth blood and bring them back to Proentis. Dionys Aka. Okay. Northwest, which would be, oh yeah, these guys. See how we do with our little, what have we got, a hand mace? Oh, we can pull them with this other one. Let's try that. That's not bad. Now, I'm not sure what kind of armor I can wear. I actually didn't look that up. Um, doesn't say. Okay, well, let's see if we can wear this. It's male. Okay, no, I cannot wear male. That's fine. Let's pull this guy. I need to get closer. So I'm guessing I wear chain. I don't think Shaman is a leather wearer, are they? Hmm. I need to target something first. It's too far away. Okay, 30 yards. Volatile mutation. Interesting. Quest, but we need to just stick to this one for now. Kind of getting getting used to all my keys and stuff. It seems to be working fine. Oh, now that I can wear. Yay, our first bit of armor. <laughs> Alright, we need three more of these things. It's very confusing waking up in this strange place. We didn't have these kind of creatures where I come from. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get back, but... I will do my best to help with that endeavor.
like using Nike. Ah, sweet, level two. Okay, perfect timing. All right, Proentes, I got the vials. The Naru have not forgotten us. You have harvested the necessary blood? Fantastic. With survivors scattered all over the Vale, time is of the essence. Yes, I saw a few of them out there. Well, it's regrettable that those creatures had to die so that we might live. Indiscriminate killing is not the drain I way. However, the blood you gathered will replenish our healing crystals, so their deaths will not be in vain. Okay, so leather is something I can wear. Okay, that's mail, not chain. So we can get 19 armor there, 7 there. Well, that's a no-brainer. It's a nice belt. Now that you've gathered all that we need, I need you to deliver the vials to Zaldun, our priest. You'll find him tending to our wounded inside the central chamber of the ship. Blessings upon your family. All right, well, thank you, sir. Ooh, we've got armor smith and all that. Let's, um, let's sail. Welcome, browse at your leisure. Fifty Favorite coin. Road, traveled by few. Sweet, we're rich. Hello, Zaldun. The Naru have not forgotten us. I have some uh, blood vials for you, sir, to help heal the injured. Here you go. Oh, good work. Thank you very much. This will do nicely. Uh, but now that you're here. I think I have another use for you, if you're willing. But of course, sir, what is it? Rescue the survivors. The healing crystals are replenished, but that is not the only way we can help the injured. All Draenei can tap the gift of the Nauru to heal. You must use this ability to heal one of the crashed survivors. You'll find most of them in the areas to the west. Yes, I actually have seen a, a couple of them. They suffered from exposure to the irradiated power crystals, so you should be able to find them by the red glow. Save them, Sherry. Oh, yes, sir. I'll do so. Thank you. Safe journey. All right, so we can go back out to where we came from, because I remember seeing that one out here. Yes, it's right ahead. Hold on, sir. I have something that will help. Many thanks to you, shaman. I'd best get back to the crash site and see how I can help out. Okay, me too, actually. So let's tell... Zaldun that we were successful. That worked very nicely, Zaldun. Each day is a blessing. Light be praised. You've done what only a true heroine could have done. The Draenei you saved owe oh, their continued life to your selfishness. Please, take this pouch. You look like you can use it more than I. Oh, another bag. And your days be long. Yes. And your hardships few. Now, it's only a four-slot bag, but hey, you know what? <laughs> take all I can get. Okay, so look at all these quests. Oh my god, which one do we want to do first? 
Um, let's talk to our trainer. Hello. Now he is a different looking creature than a, all the rest of us. Interesting. But he's a shaman, so I guess that's all that matters. Light. Must remember the oh. light. Oh. As the only apparent surviving broken, it is both my duty and honor to carry on the shamanistic teachings of Farseer Nabundo. Interesting. I wonder what a broken is. I'm going to have to find out what that is. So they must be related to us in some way. I am Fermavar, and you are wise to seek me out. It is my calling to provide instruction to shaman, especially those who are just beginning to learn. Oh, fantastic, yes, I am new. <laughs> Shamanism is only now being relearned among the Draenei. You are brave to follow its path, as it is not popular among your kind. I will be here when you feel you're ready for further training. See you. Okay. So you don't have anything to train? We survive. Okay, here we go. Teach me the ways of the spirits. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Rock biter weapon. Imbue the shaman's weapon, increasing its damage per second by two. It lasts for 30 minutes. Well, that is a nice buff, and it's only 10 coins. So we're going to get that. And at the moment, that's the only thing I can get. You come back sometime. Okay, so it doesn't automatically go on your bar, which is fine. Uh, you know, I haven't really looked at my stuff yet. So that is a mace. Okay, hopefully we'll get something a little better soon. But for now, and the shield is definitely something good to have also. So I... I have a shirt with no armor value and boots with no armor value. Okay, so I am still pretty weak. So strength gives me attack power, agility also, but it's also my crit hit chance and gives me more armor. Stamina is my health. Intellect gives me mana and critical hit. Spirit gives health regen and mana regen. So I'm not sure what my main stat is. I'm guessing it's intellect because I use mana and mana is going to be very important for me. Okay. And I have friendly reputation with Darnassus, Nomorgon, Ironforge, Stormwind, and Exodar is where we are, apparently. Now, what are these skills? We've got Elemental Combat, Enhancement, and Restoration, of which I have nothing in right now. We're not going to be a healer, so we're probably not going to do too much in Restoration, but... Uh, either Enhancement or Elemental. I'm, I'm leaning towards Elemental because I enjoy the Lightning. Most likely, since I don't min-max, I will look at whatever is available for my skills and just pick what I think I'm going to use, number one, and number two, what's going to fit with the way that I play. So I'm getting, I'm working on my defense, my maces. Now I can use uh, staffs also. Unarmed, that's interesting. And I can wear cloth and leather. So, uh, that's good to know. Okay. And, okay, so I got a new skill, and it's actually in the enhancement section. And it's a buff, so my buffs are going to go over here. And I'm sure we'll be in touch with this fellow frequently. And looky there. Fantastic. Okay, and that'll work on any weapon that I happen to get. Now, uh, there's more quests out that way, but let's go back 
outside and speak to Proentis again because he's been so very kind to me. Let's work on his quest first. I'm back. What else did you need? The Legion's end draws near. Botanist Terex is in need of your assistance. You'll find her with her apprentices to the west, outside the ship. Okay, so we gotta speak to Botanist Terex. Favor the road traveled by few. I think that that was the uh, person who actually had a quest for me already, so that worked out. Hello, Terex. How can I assist? Krona Kai Christo. Oh, thank goodness you've come. We have much to do. Do not lose faith. The irradiated power cores from the Exodar have been wreaking havoc on the environment here. The most obvious effect has been the appearance of strange creatures that seem to have sprung up near them. Oh, I think I saw one of those. Yes, ma'am. There may be something we can do to help them, but now their sheer numbers are becoming too much for us to handle. I'd like you to go out and call their numbers somewhat. Uh, perhaps I'll have another idea after giving it some more thought. So we have to kill eight of those mutations. Okay. Blessings upon your family. Fortunately, yes. So all of this radiation doesn't take long to change, so I wonder what this creature was before. I don't think it would have been a moth. It would be some kind of a small mammal, I'm guessing. Do a bit more damage with my weapon. I might as well use it. Very creepy. Since we just arrived, I doubt they're going to have an answer to this issue anytime soon, but uh, we'll see. Okay, one more. There. Maybe these moths are big like they are because of that radiation too. It didn't change them physically. Nice, level three. So, let's go back to the botanist and see if she actually has any more information for us. Highly doubt it, but you never know.
Greetings, friend. Are you finished? Oh, that's good news. Hopefully we can find a way to avoid the killing of these mutated beasts in the future. I believe I formed a plan that might give us an alternative solution to this problem, but I will need your help. Sure, anything I can do. The nearby lake has been contaminated by one of the ship's power crystals. Oh, <laughs> don't cry, dear. <Diana. laughs> Many of the plants and animals of Almondvale have been mutated because of this. I have a theory on how to heal the lake, but I must have samples from the mutated lashers for analysis. Uh, they can be found to the west in the almond fields. Okay, I'll go get that. Ten of them. Good health, long this life. One might also be nearby. Let's check it out. Kronakai Christor! Botanical legwork. And the almond fields to the west are the primary breeding ground of the local Lasher population. And with the corruption of the water table from the nearby lake, Octarix is worried that the Lashers will not be able to repopulate themselves once we've cleaned the lake. Go to the almond fields and pick some of the corrupted flowers for me so I can take a look at them and see what can be done. You should be able to identify them by their red petals. So that's kind to those definitely doable. Watching. Okay, and to the west. Now, one thing that I noticed that is uh, interesting is the map does not give you clues on exactly where you need to go for things. So, uh, you really do have to pay attention to what the quest uh, says. Or you could be wandering around. <laughs> This is such a beautiful area. I love all these tall plants, and when you run through them, they move out of the way. That is a really a nice touch. I love that. Okay, to the west. There we go. Oh, I see one of the flowers. Now, the items we need do sparkle, which is helpful. I also like the fact that nothing in this uh, starter area is aggro right now. A lot less stress. Alright, these are what we need 10 of. skill up. I'm out of range. Oh. There's a mutation down here, too. We don't need those, so I'm not going to worry about that. We need one more flower, though. There's one. Let's get this guy on the way.
Yeah. Blood mist. Radiation. Mace is 15. Defense is 14. I need to get closer. Four more. Okay, I think... Did I get cloth or did I get... I did. That's only four armor. This one is 12, so we're definitely going to wear that. We need to get when we're done here. Get these last two. anything at all, so we'll wear those. Alright, let's go back, turn these in. I have your flowers, uh, Fischel. One wishes to you. Here you go. Oh, these look like fine specimens. Thank you. Uh, once I can find the time to analyze these, I should be able to tell what it will take to restore them. Well, good. Good luck. Safe journey. May the light embrace you. Here's your samples, ma'am. Oh, these will do nicely, thank you. While you were out, I managed to gather some equipment together to make an analysis of the samples. Uh, this should only take a moment. Thank goodness. I think it'll work. I have an agent for you to spread at Silverline Lake to the south. It will neutralize the effects of the irradiated ship's power crystal that fell there. A swim out and scatter the neutralizing agent near it. Uh, don't worry, you won't be exposed long enough to become irradiated. Okay, well that's a good thing. Alright, All right, let's go do that real quick. Um. Lake to the south. on this one. For now, I see a big crystal over there. And there's water. That's what we need. It said swim, so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be that one.
Silver Line Lake. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Hope this works. I think it worked. Look at that. It's not putting off that aura. Fantastic. Okay, so now we gotta get out of here. Somehow. That was easy enough. Shift graveyard for all the ones that didn't make it. Open your heart to the light. I hate graveyards. So many dead. And my sweet Luhana. Oh. Remember the lessons of the past. I'm so sorry for your loss, sir. this guy's doing? He's just standing in front of this mutation, but he doesn't have a quest. Maybe when I turn this in, we'll get one. Arcanon Poros. I think it worked. I just wish that I knew how long it would last. We really need to remove that power crystal from the lake entirely. Yes, I agree. That'd be a great idea. Thank you, Sherry. I'll tell Tedan to try the neutralizing agent on one of the captured beasts at once. Aha! Uh -huh. And level four. With your help, we were able to find a solution to our problems faster than I could have hoped. You you need to go speak with Vindicator Aldar on the other side of the ship. Okay, seek the path of the light. But I want to see this guy let this uh, mutation out. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, it used to be a rabbit. I would not have guessed that. But I was right, it was a mammal. Oh, that's awesome. So now they can turn them all back. Fantastic. Well, everybody, I think we're going to leave this episode here today. Thank you for joining me. Please give a like and subscribe, and hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.